This is an instruction video for installing a compact flash drive into an Akai S1100 sampler. First thing you're going to need is an Akai S1100 sampler with a SCSI card installed. Next thing you'll need are two very important components. A IDE to compact flash adapter, which is this red unit. It comes from StarTech.com. You can purchase it on Amazon. And it includes this metal enclosure that you'll plug the drive into. And attached to that is the adapter unit. Now here's the IDE part of the adapter. The second thing you'll need is a SCSI to IDE adapter. The one I have here is from ACARD. It fits right into this plug. You need to set the jumper pins on this unit to channel 5, shown here. There's a jump, jumper on the first slot and a jumper on the third slot. There are instructions that come with the ACARD device, so just follow it so that you know that it's set up for channel 5, which is the default setting on the Akai S1100. The second thing to point out is on the adapter uh, here there's a selection for um, slave and master and you are going to want to set it to slave it comes with e each each unit comes with um, these these cables so you don't need to buy these separate. The smaller four pin of one of them will fit onto these pins on the adapter. You'll need to bend the pins up to fit the SCSI adapter on top here. It is a little bit uh, tenuous, but just make sure not to pull too hard. Gently bend it. And then the other small four pin on the other cable will plug into these pins on the uh, adapter. The, then this male large four pin Molex needs to fit into a female four pin Molex so that this connector can plug into the port Is it there it is here on the motherboard now I had to basically jerry rig my own cable I soldered um, one cut end of a small four pin onto one the large end of a female making sure to match all the wires and then I wrapped electrical tape around it a little bit ghetto, but it does the trick. So this is the hardest part of the build because I don't think you'll be able to find a cable like this online for purchase. Now there's another very, very important thing to point out about this install, and that is the disk drive. Now I have in my hands a pre-tech 16 gigabit compact flash drive running it 233 times speed, whatever that means. <clears throat> this is the only drive that I could get to work. I had a I had a number of SanDisk drives ranging from 8 megs to 32 megs. None of them worked. I had a small 1 gigabyte IBM uh, drive that worked 9% 9, 9 of the time. It took minutes to load it was just crazy and I had a transcend drive that it was recommended to work but it it burnt out right when I plugged it in it was probably defective so those might work but the one known thing that I know after all this hassle of trying to find the right drive is that this one definitely works they're a little hard to find probably eBay is your best bet and it might be a little expensive but you don't want to waste time 
trying a million different drives when you know that this one will definitely work. So I'm going to plug this into here and I'm going to go ahead and set my drive in my sampler. I have no way to really mount it right now, but it's probably going to do just fine sitting on top of these cables. And I will take the power here and plug it in. Let me just put down the camera here and do that. A little tricky. Okay, so now we're plugged in, and I'm going to need to take this drive and plug that in. Okay, so now I've got the drive plugged in, and I've got the power plugged in. And now it's time to boot this sucker. I turn it on, and it shows waiting for hard disk. let that go. Oh. oh my goodness. I forgot to plug in key, a key piece. The SCSI cable. Oops, I'm zoomed in here. Okay, let me turn this off. It's kind of a good thing I forgot about this because I also need to remember to point out a key thing. This SCSI cable is short. On one end it has the pins here that prevent you from plugging it in the wrong way. But on the other end, this cable has been, the pins on here have been rubbed off, filed off. It's important because this end of the, of the cable is going to go into the SCSI um, card on the Akai, but you'll need to plug it in backwards. So on the card where this would normally line up <coughs> with the part on the card that would want to have pins, you flip that around the other way. So we'll plug that in. I'll put my camera down. Okay, I plugged it in backwards, and I'm going to plug the one going into the adapters the correct way. backwards there it is plugged in okay now we're plugged in now I shouldn't just sit there waiting I'll turn it on zoom in a little bit waiting for hard disk okay so that came up much quicker this time I hit disk and you can see that I have programs here. That's what you want. Before I had programs though, I needed to hit disk and format. And it'll give you a bunch of hoopla before you do that, but ultimately you want to be able to hit arrange. Now, you think you'd hit format to format the drive, but instead, no, you actually hit arrange. It says destroy all hard disk data, yes and it starts looping through all of the blocks on the drive. Hopefully you're, you'll get the same result that I got, which is no bad blocks. And at that point, your drive is formatted. There's nothing else to do. You'll just, you know, sample some stuff, say, save your files, load it, and you're good to go. So I hope that you're able to procure the uh, equipment that I that I myself did. A um, little expensive, a little hard to find at times. You have to make your own custom cable. You have to make sure to plug everything in properly the way that the Akai wants you to. And make sure that you get the right compact flash drive so as not to waste your life. Thanks for watching my video. Sorry for any problems or errors that might have taken place. And good luck.